welcome back to the channel for the latest progress update on the upcoming space fighter vehicle as i teased in a recent video there's going to be different variants of the space fighter so this is the newest version of the cascalot torpedo boat and as I showed before, the Cascalot torpedo boat has an actual working shooting mechanism. And here you can see the levers up here. Both torpedo tubes are loaded and I can quickly demonstrate the firing power. One and two. And this is how you reload them. Just put them in, snaps in place. Just like this. So, ready for action again. So, here's a quick rundown on the interior workings of the Cascalot torpedo mechanism. Which is actually fairly simple, straightforward. You have below the cockpit the um, spring mechanism to hold the torpedoes. The levers, um, they use a separate spring to hold the torpedoes in place. And I used this set of small size springs by Kriya. These are available on Amazon, they're very cheap. If you don't want to buy specific small springs, you can also use the springs from a ballpoint pen. But as you can see, it's a nice assortment. They come in different sizes. The good thing about this is if you want to have different strengths for your torpedoes, as you can see here, these are fairly big springs, but you can also use uh, smaller springs. Like if you have kids you want to buy the toy for, you want to prevent them to hurt themselves with these uh, fire mechanisms, because it can be quite strong depending on the springs you use, you can just use smaller springs. This is a really nice set, not very expensive, I can highly recommend it. The Cascalot has a few additional changes which require replacement parts, like um, since we have our landing gear quite far in the back, it needs a little bit more balancing in the back, which means the Cascalot has a slightly elongated tail to give it a little bit more mass in the back. But other than that, everything else is the same for both versions. Cascalot also has a two-seater cockpit. You can place two pilot action figures in there. And it currently only has a virtual reality canopy version. Um, maybe there's going to be a windowed version, but I'm not sure about that yet. Let's see. So there's been a lot of updates to the design, a lot of improvements that had to be made. And I'm quickly going to show you all the, all the stuff that went into the design of this beast. The whole design process is basically with the idea of snap fit in mind. So everything you see here doesn't require any screws or any glue at all. The parts all snap together or fit together in a way that uh, you can assemble these without any additional tools required. I'm going to show you how this all comes together. First of all, we have on the side pins that connect the top and lower hull parts. These pins can easily be removed just like this. Now the back of the upper hull is connected with the upper engine muscles. They can also be just wiggled out. And then you can completely remove the upper part of the hull and now you have all the crazy detailed insides here with all the mechanisms. Front part is connected by a, uh, by a pin. You can easily move here. So the front part comes off and then you have the back part. These used to be all uh, one single piece. But unfortunately, as you can see, the insides, the interior is very complex. And since you also have these uh, intake shutters, they were quite hard to assemble, all this being one piece. And also this was really hard to print because you needed a lot of support structures for the inside. So in the latest update, I completely separated the landing gear part. So now the landing gear block is connected by this pin here. And also again, the lower engine nozzles which serve as pins so now you can completely remove let me close this up it's easier 
So now you can completely remove the, the whole landing gear block, which makes it much easier to assemble because you have access from all the sides to put in the gears. They are also snap fit and just easier to print, easier to assemble. It's really, really convenient for assembly. And here, of course, you have the, um, the fold out uh, guns. And here in the back, you have the very, actually very simple mechanism to release the bomb or missile bay doors. Now we have um, the front part here, the cockpit part, and this can easily be replaced. So if you want to build the original version, the peregrine version, you can just take the peregrine cockpit, put it in here like this, and then you have either the single-seater cockpit or you have the dual seat cockpit. I'm just gonna take the single seat in this case. And then you can reassemble the whole vehicle. Some more modular stuff, like in the, in the front here, you have these canards. And the canards can also be removed in case you don't want them. There's small hull replacement parts. They close up the openings, so you can just move them in here, like this. We also have the different um, nose parts for the peregrine version, like these grills, the sensor array. And of course, if you wish so, a nose cone, nose cover, you can use. So for this part, for this video I'm going to use the, the grill, put in the landing gear compartment, like this, put in the pin here, add the engine nozzles. Like this. And then just connect everything again with the top engine nozzles and the pins. Left. Right. And the smaller ones go in the back. Left and right. All right, to make this a little bit more fun, as you can see, the, the cockpit uh, currently doesn't have any dashboards here and there. That is because these parts can optionally be printed in transparent resin, like the, the canopy windows, which means you can add some lighting. And if you want to add some lighting, I've also included a few gadgets for you. These you will find here. You can open up these compartments above the top engines. And in these compartments, you can place a small holder for a switch. So you can wire everything inside, put your LEDs in place, and then you can connect this all to a switch. Everything for your convenience. If you are a modder, if you like to play around with LEDs to light your models, this is the thing you will enjoy. For the people who don't want to add lighting, there will be another version of the inserts that will contain some detail, like you can already see here some uh, interior engine detail stuff just for the fun of it. That's basically it. These are all the updates. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please leave a like and subscribe for further content and I hope to see you soon with an updated version um, showing off all the surface detail that is currently in the works.